Get ready for race number three of the Neymar Mountain Dew Voltage Cup Series season. We are here at Boston for 75 laps of racing. This will be most likely a one pit stop race. On the front row is Daytona 500 winner Karen Vieira. Beside her is Benjamin Mimoso. Row two is Benjamin Dion and Michael Amato. Row three is Frank Hopkins and Greg Lyons. Row 4 is Benjamin Tilton and James Morton. And row 5 is Chris Washer and Mike Kidney. Part-timers part winner, Dion Scott, starting in 11th. With other part-time drivers starting in 34th is Daniel Carnero. And starting in 40th is Brenda Rogers. So we give you track side for today's race. It will be interesting to see who can be the third winner of the season. As a reminder that you win and you're in the chase. So right now, Karen Vieira, Allison Rogers are currently in the chase. But the other rule to that is you must stay in the top 30 in points. Actually, no, that is wrong. It's not the top 30. It is the top 25. I was thinking real life for a minute. Top 25 in points. You have to stay in. So we get ready to go green flag racing here today. Pace car will make that sharp left turn down the pit road. Green flag is out. Can Karen Vieira win her second race of the season? Also, another side note. Karen Vieira has six career wins. Second most all-time behind Steve Cavallo, who has seven. But we might see somebody go for their first career win. As Benjamin Dion and Frank Hopkins are already to the bottom. Benjamin Dion will lead lap one. Canviera goes way high. Three wide for second. Benjamin Tilton looking for the advantage. SD45 will go high again. Some crazy racing up front here already as Benjamin Tilton will take second. Now Frank Hopkins into the three wide mess. As Chris Washer looks for third. Frank Hopkins goes way deep and high in the turn. And they will settle it back to two wide up front. As Chris Washer will look to take third. Dion Scott on the move up front. But Benjamin Tilton and Benjamin Dion have pulled away for the moment. Chris Washer will clear for third. Daniel Carnero trying to make his way back to the front. Brenda Rogers trying to get her way up to the front. Three wide back here. As Dion Scott will settle into fifth. Having a great first cup race run here as Tilton is on the back bumper for the lead. 
Benjamin Tilton won at Watkins Glen last season. He has two career victories in the Cup Series at Martinsville in Season 1 and Watkins Glen Season 3. Looking for that third career victory as we're starting to settle down in the single file groups. Dion and Tilton up front. Chris Washer, Benjamin Mimoso trying to come back up here. Michael Amato looking for his fifth career victory in his first since season one. Logan Scott moving his way up to the front. Won Phoenix last season. And now Jim Morton, who won at Sonoma, looking to get a short track victory here today. Greg Lyons, Frank Hopkins, and Chris Washer seem to be the top rookie candidates to win today's race. Just a heads up, these gas tanks will last about 42 to 46 laps, so expect one pit stop here today. But right now, Dion still leading Tilton. As we look at the back of the pack, Daniel Carnero starting to make his way back up front. Last week's winner, Allison Rogers, trying to get into the top 15. As Benjamin Mimoso has moved into third, passing Chris Washer. Benjamin Dion has not won a race since season one, I think, as well. Because I don't believe he has won a race in a while. He did not win a race last season, and I believe he did not win a race in season two either. He might have. I might just be having a brain lapse, but he might have won in season two. I'm not sure. But right now, he is leading the way here today. He has led every lap. Benjamin Tilton has been on his bumper the whole time. And Mimoso and others are starting to close their way back in on the front runners. Nobody out of the race. Tilton with the fastest lap time on the day. Michael Amato in fifth. Teammate Logan Scott, sixth. Jim Morton, seventh. Mike Kidney will take eighth. Greg Lyons is going to take ninth as Deion Scott gives up two spots. Frank Hopkins sitting just outside in 11th with Kate Rogers in 12th. As we look here back in the pack again, Zachary Rogers now making his way back up to the front, or trying to. They're still double wide pretty good back here. We still have a long race to go. 59 laps to go officially at the line last time. And let's go on board here with um, Chris Washer. As you see that. Trying to gain ground on third position. He had it before. Then Mimoso passed him. And then you see He's got a back bumper full of Michael Amato. And now Mimoso has found himself into the hunt for the race lead. As we will take a short break and be back for more action. We're back here at Boston coming to lap 21, which will be 55 to go. And they have singled it out to almost 12th. So Frank Hopkins is going to take that spot from Dion Scott. And they have definitely started to single it out more. Zachary Rogers making his way into 32nd. As drivers are trying to make their way back up to the front. James Morton currently in last place. But 
Dion still in the lead. So he has not looked back. Nobody out of the race as well. And Tilton starting to put some pressure on him. And with Martinsville next week, you should watch out for some of these drivers here, such as Tilton. If he doesn't get a win here this week, he might just get a win next week at Martinsville. Martinsville, a no-caution flying event due to the fact that you get one tiny caution and then they all start wrecking. So we'll be not having cautions at Martinsville. That will most likely most likely be a 75 lap race as well. And Kate Rogers has moved into 10th. Michael Naylor is in 11th with Frank Hopkins 12th. Logan York in 13th. Cody Russell 14th. And Dion Scott all the way back to 15th. But a bit of a train race going on here right now. Zachary Rogers trying to gain his way back up through the field. Alan Cavanero in 23rd place. But a bit of an interesting race now. As it has turned single file as we near pit stops in about 10 laps or so. As Mimoso is back onto the back bumper of Tilton yet again. The battle for the lead is on. Mimoso looking underneath Benjamin Tilton. He's going to make it too wide for the first time in a while. In the front. As Tilton will dive. Mimoso looking to take second. All the Benjamins up here at the front. Mimoso will take second place from Tilton. It allows Dion to gain a little ground. It allows the fourth and fifth place cars to gain a little ground as well. But Mimoso has moved it up to second place. Dropping Tilton to third. Rookie Greg Lyons doing a good job here so far today. As we look to the back, it has pretty much become a train race. Karen Vieira continuing to lose spots here. Pole sitter not faring so well here today. She will fall to 21st. Top three still running within a half a second. Within two tenths of each other. Mimoso's trying to take the lead here maybe before pit stops. Mimoso, who is making his first full season since Season 2, because he won Season 3 Kyalami race, which we are not going to that track this season, because it was a wreck fest. But Michael Amato, sitting in 5th, has not been running so well this season, so this is a good run so far for him. Same goes for defending champion Zachary Rogers, who is currently in 33rd. He has not been having a good start to the season as it goes with the defending champion curse. Nico Tringali 
did the best out of that. He got he did get back into the top 25 in points. Mike Lamato, however, his season two, he finished last in points out of the drivers who completed full-time events. Or out of all the full-timers, because one driver retired early. So far, Zachary Rogers will maybe repeat what Amato did, but he is hoping to not do that. There's a battle on here. Kate Rogers passing Greg Lyons for ninth. And Logan Scott losing some spots now as he falls to eighth. Logan York also catching up to 12th. Frank Hopkins has fallen way back a little bit to 13th. And Kate Rogers will make the move on Logan Scott for the 8th spot. And Greg Lyons and others are also going by the 88 car. With the top 6 pretty much away as Mimoso is starting to put pressure on the back of Benjamin Dion. And it looks like the pit stops are going to begin here. Benjamin Dion will be the first one down the pit road. His cars are scraping the wall. And Dion is the lone driver to come to pit road. Here on lap four. We saw Micah Kinney scrape the wall. And now Benjamin Mimoso coming to pit road as I'm getting some lag. His cars are scraping the wall. Tilton to take the lead. And I don't know what's going on here with this lag. As now Logan York. Will be the last driver to stay out, it appears. And hopefully he can finish this race before the lag gets really bad. Logan York will come down, Cody Russell, Pete and Goodwin. Daniel Canero, Sean Galligan, as Michael Amato is beating out Benjamin Mimoso out of pit road. But Dion with the lead. Pitting early was a good thing. But Amato moves up to second. And we'll take a quick break so we can figure out who is where now. We're here with 30 laps to go. Benjamin Dion has a commanding two-second lead over Michael Amato. Scott Greeny a lap down, and something happened to Adam Rogers because he is two laps down. He is still on pit road for some reason. But there you see Benjamin Dion in the race lead. Coming up on more laugh traffic. As there you see Michael Amato closing in on teammate Scott Greeny. Third, Benjamin Tilton. Fourth is Benjamin Mimoso. Fifth, Chris Washer. Sixth, Kate Rogers. Seventh is Frank Hopkins with eighth being Greg Lyons. Ninth, Jim Walton. And tenth, Logan Scott. Allison Rogers in 19th. Nico Tringali, 27th. Zachary Rogers in 32nd. Now Peter Sands making a pass for 39th. As Logan York, who stayed out, scraped the wall multiple times, falling to the spot. If you notice, drivers that stayed out were running really high for some reason when passing drivers that decided to pit. But it seems Dion's idea to pit early panned out well. But these other drivers are using the draft to catch up. 
and that that lead is dwindling about 0.15 seconds a lap. As Amato and Tilton are working together with Scott Greeny. As now Tilton has taken second place with ease, apparently. And Tilton is flying up here. Tilton might have the winning car. As he'll look to pass Scott Creaney now, making it just him and Dion. Tilton passes Greening. Something Namato was not able to do. As Mimoso is catching up, as is Chris Washer and Kate Rogers and others. So Amato apparently does not have as good as a car as these other drivers. They did more of a pit strategy move. But Tilton is there. Tilton is flying up here to catch Benjamin Dion. Dion has definitely clinched most laps led. But Tilton is flying up here to the front. With 21 laps to go. That lead is gone. And nobody else captured Benjamin Dion as fast as the others had, or were. As you check in the left there on the scoreboard, nobody caught, was even close to catching Dion that fast. And Tilton might go for the lead right here. And there goes Benjamin Tilton to the inside of the 33. Whoa, they almost touched. Racing for the lead now. Benjamin Tilton will take the top spot away from Dion for the first time all day long. Now Dion might get passed by lap car Scott Greeny. Going through the field. Looking where everybody is at. Adam Rogers finally back on track. Six laps down. Peggy Bowling in 10th, Frank Hopkins 9th, Logan Scott 8th, Craig Lyons 7th, Kate Rogers 6th, Chris Washer 5th, Benjamin Mimosa 4th, Michael Amato 3rd with Benjamin Dion in 2nd. And Dion is not having good laps. They must have gone with a two-tire or no-tire gamble. And now Chris Washer is going to look for 4th place under Benjamin Mimoso. And Dion just does not have a good car. Tilton's still doing pretty good. As Chris Washer will move into fourth past Benjamin Mimoso. And Chris Washer might have the second best car right now. Here at 15 to go. And it is three wide up here for 36th as Nathan Rogers will drop back to avoid a wreck, hopefully. But Tilton in the lead, Dion settling into second. These three still catching him. Kate Rogers now in this mix too in sixth. But Tilton with a good lead. A good one and a half second lead almost now. As he is still driving way better than anybody else. As we come closer to 10 to go, 
Logan Scott in a battle with 7th. Greg Lyons looking for that spot. Peggy Bowling ninth. Now Mikey Kidney's going to look for 10th on Frank Hopkins. And it looks like he will take it, and Nail Michael Naylor might take 11th as well. Omoso falling back a little bit here from Chris Washer and Amato, who have now really caught up to Benjamin Dion. Chilton is just gone here. And it will take a lot of luck for any of these guys to win this race instead of Chilton. Who's just been dominating since pit stops. we we'll take one more quick break. And we will be here for the finish. We're back. Chris Washer looking for third on Michael Amato. Looking to tie the best rookie finish off the season. Frank Hopkins. Who finished second last week at New Hampshire. Chris Washer looking to tie that. He's just got to get by. Benjamin Dion is now Kate Rogers will go by Benjamin Mimoso for fifth. Maybe looking for more here, looking for fourth, maybe from Michael Amato. But Tilton has the lead here with six to go. Uh, and the dog goes crazy for no damn reason. Well, I guess that's a good reason. Stranger at the door. As Chris Washer has made it into second. Kate Rogers up to fourth. Amato back to sixth. And now Kate Rogers with a little bit of a late race surge. Four laps to go for Tilton. And he just has the best car out on the track. And now Kate Rogers will look for third here. Mimoso might take fourth as well. Kate Rogers will take third. Mimosa will take fourth. And Dion will fall to fifth. Maybe sixth now as here comes Amato. Dion way high and Amato will most likely take fifth place here. As Adam Rogers has made ground because he came off pit road so late. But he is in 42nd place so... Chris Washer will most likely get second. Here we go. White flag. One more lap to go. For Benjamin Tilton getting his, I believe, third career victory. Coming down the back stretch for the final time. Through three and four. Coming to the checkered flag. Benjamin Tilton is going to win it at Boston. He wins the Boston Bruins. 300. And for a guy that loves that hockey team, that must mean a lot. Chris Washer will come home second. Kate Rogers third. Benjamin Mimoso fourth. And Michael Amato fifth. Running up top ten. Benjamin Dion sixth. Logan Scott seventh. Greg Lyons eighth. Peggy Bowling ninth. And Michael Niela will finish in tenth. We'll see you guys next time for Martinsville.